A solenoid is an electrical component used to create a controlled magnetic field. It is made from a helical coil of wire with the same current I passing through each loop in the coil. The current that passes through this coil generates a nearly uniform magnetic field within the volume bounded by the loops. In this sketch, current is flowing from left to right in the solenoid. As the current flows in the coils, the dots indicate that the current is coming towards us, while the X's indicate that the current is going away from us. Let's take a look at the magnetic field generated by a single loop of this coil. The top of this loop has current coming towards us, while the bottom of this loop has current moving away from us. We will look at the net magnetic field at three points equally distant from the central axis of the solenoid and three points that lie on the central axis of the solenoid. From superposition, it can be shown that the net magnetic field at every point on the central axis is parallel to the central axis. While the shape of the magnetic field line passing through two points outside of the solenoid and centered about the loop is curved symmetric about the loop. Thus, the magnetic field at each point on the central axis is parallel to the axis and is strongest at a point at the center of the loop and weaker farther away. The magnetic field at two of the points outside of the loop is tangent to the curve representing the magnetic field line at that point. And the magnetic field directly above the top of the loop is parallel to the solenoid's central axis. Let's get rid of the magnetic field lines to focus on the magnetic fields at each of these points. Let's also look at the magnetic field due to three consecutive loops. We'll do this by copying and pasting the single loop that we have already illustrated. As you can see, by superposition, the net magnetic field at a point immediately above the central loop is approximately zero. Since we will model this as an ideal solenoid, which really means a solenoid whose length is much larger than its diameter, we can say that the magnetic field at all points outside of this solenoid is approximately zero, since the magnetic field contribution due to groups of loops sum to nearly zero outside of the solenoid. Looking inside the solenoid, the magnetic field contribution due to all of the loops establishes a uniform magnetic field parallel to the solenoid central axis at all points inside the solenoid. To summarize, the magnetic field inside an ideal solenoid carrying current I is uniform and parallel to its central axis, while the magnetic field outside an ideal solenoid is zero.